and try and live life nah. fast. Too much in this world I won't see. Turn into a snake if a yeah. ride ever try to prey on my cheese. I just want to stay on my peace. Make a better way for my seed. They don't never talk about me. So I'm going to get in pop of yours. I came up from nothing to something and now this shit busting. I only do money discussions. I came up from nothing to something and now this shit busting. I only do money discussions. People that die to me, I'm screaming, fuck them. They used to complain that they can't even touch them. I came up from nothing to something and now this shit busting. I only do money discussions. I need like a hundred K. Bobby. Bobby. close to it. Beats. Ha. Beats. I'm stacking money like oh. Yo, 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 yo. What's the word? Sneaker herd. It's your boy, Lauda Dragon, back with another unboxing video. If you guys haven't already, please make sure you hit the like subscribe button. It's really, really appreciated. We're on our road to 200 subscribers. I'm trying to get 1K by the end of the year. And every 100 subscribers i'm going to be trying to give away a shoe to one of my one of my followers so if you follow my page you follow my channel definitely make sure you pay attention for all the details that's coming up as soon as i get close as soon as we get closer to the 200 i'm gonna go ahead and start releasing the details and what you have to do and this will be for free all you have to do is make sure you enter your size and everything but like i said i'll come with the rest of the details <clears throat> You know I try to do a batch when it comes to like the unboxing and things like that. But uh, if you guys haven't seen by the title, I finally, I mean finally, got my Royal Blue 14s. Well, Hyper Royal Blue 14s from Dick Sporting Goods. Uh, <laughs> and it's funny how it happened. So uh, they did this thing last time when they did with the Jordan 12. So like. I guess they have them on like a pre-order or something like that. So like they'll allow you to buy the shoes or pre-order the shoes. And then when they get their shipment in, they're just going to send out the pairs. It's a cool system because it's like you can kind of ensure that you get a pair as long as you get in through the pre-order. So that's cool. And normally I don't care about like wanting to wear my shoes because I'm not going anywhere. It's really COVID. Kind of stick to like my regular shoes and things that like uh i rock i actually been wearing like my yeezys because i'm actually trying to do this experiment and see how comfortable they are i never travel day to day never really warm so i'm just trying to see how durable they are because i know how jordan's i've been wearing jordan's and nikes for years so just trying a different shoe out but that's a whole nother video for another day so i really been sitting up just wearing everything else but i just decided to tweet because twitter makes everything better and i tweet it's like yo Dick Sporting Goods. Uh, when he got sending out my 14s, like I got a friend who got his payout from StockX, and I don't, I've never sold on StockX, but they said like trying to sell on StockX and waiting on your money, it's kind of trash. So I had a friend like he sold two pair of Hyper Royals already and got his payout already. So I kind of like mentioned that, and I didn't get a response via Twitter, but I got an email like an hour one hour an hour later saying that my shoes are about to be here and it's sent out for like for shipping and i made this tweet on thursday and i had my shoes on sunday crazy right so if you guys are still waiting on your shoes from dick sporting goods just tweet them tweet them they're gonna feel kind of salty or whatever i guess and they're gonna go ahead and send you out your confirmation because they said they weren't supposed to be coming to like the 10th that would be next saturday and I had him here a whole week earlier than what they said in the email originally with the pre-order date. But whatever, man. Let's go ahead and get to this unboxing. <laughs> my, my baby got her pair. She actually got her pair. Matter of fact, just a second. <laughs> my bad. Back to what I was doing. So, <laughs> my babe actually hit her pair. This is a size 7. So, I've been had the shoe. I could have actually reviewed it. For a while, she hit her pair on sneakers. First time in, first time trying, hit. I can't get that lucky. Save my life. To save my life. But whatever. What's this? A recip. Yes, 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 yes. Got your regular Jordan 13, 14 box. Yes, label reads 
white, black, hyper royal. <laughs> Explains why the hyper royal blue shirt. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into this. It's, you know, it's like, I see a lot of reviews and they like, they do different things. Like, oh, checking for like lot numbers and like quality control stickers and all those type of things. I'm noticing that every box and every place that you order from has different procedures to doing that so that doesn't authenticate anything even like i said i got these from dick sporting good but just like when you watch your real and fake videos that kind of don't prove anything you got to do some real real looking because those stickers can be fake but anyways got your regular tissue paper <sighs> yeah i'm excited about these though because this is my first pair of jordan 14s ever in life I've never owned a pair of these. I uh, struck out this summer on the Jim Red ones. Definitely struck out super salty. I uh, had a full locker order. They canceled my order. So it's neither here nor there. I don't have those either. But <laughs> you know how I feel about blue shoes. I couldn't pass on these. <laughs> yes. So you have the Air Jordan 14 Hyper Royal. Yes. And just like from what I... Watched on a few other reviews, what I've noticed and things like that. Of course, it's modeled and based off the Ferrari, if you haven't noticed that or ever known that. These are like called the brake lights. Only thing I don't like about this 14, and as you can see right here, make sure the light's really good. But the shade of white that's back here, it's kind of like an off-white or a sail compared to the leather on here. And that kind of sucks. Like, why y'all just paint that white? Like, why y'all couldn't just get it white or whatever? But neither here nor there. Sad leather, nice. Very nice and soft, tumble leather. Mostly white shoe. If you have the cherries or the, can uh, the candy canes, if you have the candy canes, it's pretty much a blue version of that shoe. You know? You got your Hyper Royal. And it's like actually like a glitter print. It's kind of like how they did the metallic uh, greens. It's kind of like a... Nice shiny metallic blue. Got your carbon fiber on the bottom. Nice white sole. Got your Roman numeral Jordan 14s. Got your blue jump man on the bottom. You know, no Nike Air because you stop using Nike Air after Jordan 6s. So anything got the Jordan 6, you don't have Nike Air. I do like <laughs> we got <laughs> we got the metal. Aglets. Are they like that on her shoe? Oh, yeah, they are. They actually are. So, yeah. I feel like they should do this on all Jordan 13s and 14s. And some 11s, too. Definitely, you need the metal aglets, man. You know what I'm saying? Prevent your shoe strings from all short. Well, you're a nut dog. Your shoe strings should be doing that anyway. You don't keep good care of your shoe strings. You look too old, man. But, uh, shoe tree. Nine, nine and a half. Get your die cut. Sock liner. You know? You know, mm. got your hyper, hyper royal blue insole. Let's see how nice and that's pretty thin on the insole. Okay, it's kind of blue and black though. Okay, I'm feeling that though. Right, it ain't the, it ain't the thick sole. It ain't the thick sole, but uh, yeah. Production date on these guys. What's from? Okay, March fourth of this year until. May 25th of this year. So, like I said, a little two, three month process. Whip this up. It don't look like it was a hard shit to do. You just speckle, speckle, speckle. You feel me? They had the red ones laying around. Just boop, change, change all the colors on it. <laughs> That's it. It's pretty, pretty basic shoe. But uh, like I said, you know, I, I like all blue Jordans. Yeah, it was just, just how I feel about blue Jordans. Make sure I ain't got no blue stains or nothing. Because uh, Jordan brand, they be getting a little sloppy and things like that. What a manufacturer do, I can't really say them per se, because they're not in there making it. But, you know, look quality control checks and things. Mm, just like the paint job on there. Nobody's going to see that. But I see that because I'm reviewing my shoe. But it's a little off the line and things. And I got to have my bro Casey go ahead and touch that up. If I wanted to, I could touch that up with a little white just to, just to clean that up. Yeah, like... Uh, up on here, the paint's not even painted all the way on there. All that. So, yeah, like, man, they be doing 14s kind of kind of dirty, man, y'all. I be doing a little poor little job as far as, like, and it's not much to even paint on here, really. Like, when you when you really go and 
look at it, it's not much to paint. Yeah, like, mm, yeah. I watched another, I watched a few other people and they talk about this, like, yeah, 14, they, they get a little sloppy. <laughs> and I can see that. But, I ain't mad. I don't care. Because I'm still going to win. And I love him. I'm going to give y'all on foot review of these. Yeah, man. I... Nah, I'm lying. I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't even want to put this on the ground yet. I don't even want to put... Mm... I'm lying. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to stop playing. <laughs> You got your Roman numeral 14s back there. You feel me? I always like the tugs on these, man. After Jordan 14s, Jordans just get bad. Because this is like the last retro number that he played in. But, well, retro number that they consider retro. And things like that, 1 through 14. But, I actually do like Jordan 16s. I want to say 17s and 18s. Pretty dope. They actually have... If I want to make sure for this, like the 17s or the 18s, like when they had that black and blue and the white and blue, it's the same exact Hyper Royal as when he played for the Washington Wizards and things. So when those came out, I was in like sixth grade and I thought those Jordans were so firing. It was before people cared about like things retro because Mike was still actually playing and things. So it was a dope time, dope time to be alive. But uh, <laughs> you got your boy, Law the Dragon. Mm -hmm. It's the Ed Jordan 14. Hyper Royal, you know, got the Ferrari joint on the side. <laughs> oh, just a little, little, little 360. Mm. Mm. Nice, though, you know what I'm saying? Basic leather on the toe box. It's soft, though. It's soft. The side, though, the side panel, it's very, very nice and tumble. And I hear a lot of people say that these comfortable. So when I go and do this little on-foot review, we're going to go ahead and see how comfortable these are. But, uh. Other than that, man, I'm out.